our lesson today, we're just doing some special RT equals D problems. These are going to be problems where we have a boat traveling along or a plane flying overhead, and the boat's in a river, so there's also a current. So how fast the water's going is going to make a difference on how fast the boat's traveling along. Or if it's the plane, how fast the wind is blowing. And does it make any difference? Let's suppose you're out canoeing someplace, and so you have to paddle to make the boat go. Does it make any difference whether you're going upstream or downstream? Caden, you're nodding pretty vigorously. Explain the difference. It's harder to go upstream than downstream. Can we describe going upstream and downstream in terms of which one is going to be faster and which one's going to be slower if you are paddling as hard as you can both ways? Where will you, which way will be faster and which way will be slower, Kaylee? So my point is that much of these problems is just going to be common sense. And that's a big piece in setting it up each time. When we are going upstream, we know that is going to be slower because the boat's going as fast as it can or as fast as we can paddle, but the current's pushing against it and slowing it down. And we, if we know if we go downstream, it's going to be faster because we've got the speed of the boat or how fast we can paddle. And then the, push in, the current is also pushing us along, making us go even faster. So when I talk about the rate times time to go upstream, so I'm going to put my subscripts in here. My rate is really determined by how fast the boat can go and how fast the water can go. And this one, B minus W, is going to be a smaller number than B plus W. So can we agree B plus W would be faster? This is how fast can the boat go all by itself, plus how fast is the current also pushing? It's kind of like two vectors. We've got the, vec the force vector of how fast the boat can go, and then we've also got the force vector of how fast the current can go, and if they're going in the same direction, the result when we add them together is even farther, even faster in that same direction. But here, We've got them going in opposite directions, so they partly cancel each other out, and we get a smaller rate. Now, if we actually make it upstream, does that mean that the boat has to be stronger than the current? If not, no matter how fast we paddle, the current's going to keep pushing us, down, pushing us downstream, and we're never going to get upstream. So when we do the downstream one, B must be bigger than W. This has to be B minus W. It can never be W minus B, or we will not actually make it upstream. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that R to the rate for upstream, the slower one. B minus W is just RU times TU is DU. And when I go downstream, so that's the one that's faster, rate times time equals distance for downstream, I just put in that faster rate, B plus W times TW equal, times TD equals DD. And then I think you know from what I've been saying that B is how fast the boat can go without the current making any difference. W is how fast the water's going, T's time and D's distance. And if you have one for an airplane, maybe you want to switch to P for the plane and W for the wind or something like that. But it's the same idea. So now let's try to work our way through just three example problems, and then it will be homework time. So we read it. Oh, we've got the downstream and the upstream in here. So this is one of those ones where, let's see, upstream, was that the faster or slower one? Upstream is slower because the current's pushing against me, slowing me down. So I need the slower rate. So I'll make sure I get this right. B minus W, that one was the slower rate, right? And then this was upstream, so time upstream equals distance upstream. And then downstream was the faster one, so the B plus W times the time downstream is the distance downstream. 
I really would like to see you write the formula out like that on each one with the U's and the D's subscripts. If you just start writing it down, because they give you the information on different problems in all sorts of orders, and you're going to end up with pieces of the U put together with pieces for the D one if you aren't careful. So please write it down like this. Save yourself the trouble of having the errors later on. Then you go along and you simply try to start plugging things in where they belong. So we have 50 miles downstream and 30 miles upstream. Those are both distances. They tell us the same time. So that means TD and TU are the same. So we might as well just call it T. And we know the boat goes four miles per hour. And still water just means if there wasn't any current, how fast could the engine make it go or how fast could we paddle? And then we've got to find the T and the speed of the water. So I'll leave my minus W here and my plus W here. So I have two equations, right? And how many letters that I don't know? How many variables? Also two, so it's a system of two equations, two unknowns. I need W and I need T. If you look at those bottom two equations, I've got W and T that I still don't know what they are. So I need to solve for them. So thoughts of what I might do as my next step on these. Okay. Let's distribute so that it's just a little bit easier to think about what's going on. 4T minus WT is 30. And 4T plus WT is 50. So usually when I'm talking about a system of two equations, I write them one above the other one and put my little bracket around to remind myself that that's a system. So what do you guys think as far as what method would you like us to use now to work on solving that system? Melissa? Elimination. So just so what? So just like they are, let's add the two rows together. And we have 8t plus 0 equals 80. So everybody shout out, what's t? So t is 10. And I need some units to go with that. And since it's miles per hour, my time will be hours. So I found one of my variables. So now I need to look back at these equations that I've got and decide, well, where do I want to plug in a 10 to figure out what the W is? So basically, we have these two choices right now. Doesn't matter which one. So Shayla, you pick which one you'd like, the 30 or the 50 one. OK, Shayla likes the bottom one. So 4 times 10 plus W times 10 needs to be 50. 4 times 10 is 40, so if we subtract that on both sides, 10W is 10, so everybody shout out what's W. 1, and our units are miles per hour. And does that make sense if the boat is going at 4 and the water goes at 1? Will we be able to actually get upstream as well as downstream? So questions for that one. Okay, let's move on then to example two. And they're just going to give us a little bit of different information here, but we're going to start out exactly the same. Common sense. Think through which way do we need to set up these equations. Downstream, was that B plus W or B minus W? Riley. That's the faster one, so it needs to be the B plus W times the time downstream is the distance downstream. And upstream is going to be B minus W because that's the slower one. Time upstream is the distance upstream. 33 miles downstream, we plug that in. Three hours. Oh, this time the times aren't the same, and they actually tell us what at least one of the times is. Uh, then they tell us the other one, so a four here. And we're going to go 12 miles upstream. And that seems to be all the information that they're giving us. So this is 
B plus W times three, and this is B minus W times four. So what should we do next, Addie? Okay, so let's distribute on both of those. 3B plus 3W is 33. 4B minus 4W is 12. Now what do you want to do? Mateo. So common factor of 3 on the first one, so divide everything by 3. Sound good to the rest of you? Thumbs up, thumbs down? That'll give us some nice small numbers here. So let's see, what do we have? B plus W equals 11. And B minus W equals 3. How about you guys finish solving the system? B equals what? W equals what? And then we'll check and see if I can get that up enough where you can see units as you finish. So at this point, we could do elimination and say 2B is 14. And sure enough, I agree with what you just told me, that B is going to be 7 miles per hour. And then you pick one of these equations. I'll go with this one. 7 minus W is 3. So W needs to be the four that you guys just told me as well. So everybody feel good about that one? Okay, one last one then. And so let's see, downstream, B plus W or B minus W, Alex? So that's the faster one, B plus W times the time downstream is the distance downstream and upstream B minus W times the time upstream equals the distance upstream. This time I'd like you to put the numbers in where they belong in that and then we'll check your setup. The first equation, what you put in where? Thumbs up, thumbs down. And what about for the second one, Gabe? What do you put where? Equals how much? Thumbs up, thumbs down on that one. And notice I changed both of the T's to just a T because it does say same time. What do you think we should do as the next step? Distribute. So we're going to have BT plus 5T is 25. And we're going to have BT minus 5T is 15. And I want you guys to go ahead and solve this one, whichever way you think is best, whatever you think you should eliminate first. And then we'll see if we all get the same thing. Catch up here. So you guys just told me about getting the correct answers, but that you had two different approaches. Some of you did it just like this and said 2BT is 40, which means that BT is 20. And then you could take either one of these. It really does not matter which. So if we took the top one and said that this BT is now 20 plus 5T is 25, that would mean that 5t has to be 5, so t has to be the 1 hour. And then if b times 1 is 20, that means that b has to be 20 kilometers per hour for the boat. Others of you took our system and maybe kept your bt plus 5t is 25, but multiplied the bottom one by a minus one, so it became minus bt plus 5t is minus 15. Put those together, and you had that 10t was 10, 
so chi was one, and then you did the same thing of plugging in to get that B was 20 kilometers per hour, but got the same answer either way, your choice of which you felt more comfortable doing first. Other questions from anybody? Then let's get some homework done. <laughs>